good morning welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mia if you guys are new here i'm currently working as a software engineer in the bay area and i do a lot of these day in the life work in the life of a software engineer i like to take you guys along my work day to show what it's like on a daily basis working as a software engineer let's get started I think I always pick the worst day to film because today will be filled with meetings and very busy actually. This morning I have back to back meeting from 6 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. So it's like two and a half hour straight meetings. And it's not just meeting that you can listen in, it's actually meeting that I have to talk and I have to kind of lead the conversation a little bit. It's gonna be a long day today. Oh, my Jenkins bill is passing. So yay, that's good news. So I'm gonna merge my changes and continue on with work. So coming up in May, we are trying to release the latest version of our app. So it's been very hectic right now. We're trying to ramp up all the development on the testing and getting started on pushing the release out. That's why I have been very stressed and overwhelmed. Work has been taking up most of my time. I've been MIA on YouTube for a while, but now I think things have kind of come into place. I'm at the point where I'm comfortable to film and work at the same time. It does take a lot of work and effort effort to make these type of video and share with you guys all the information that I think would be helpful for aspiring engineer or fellow engineers. So if you do like my content, please like and subscribe to my channel to support my content. As you guys can see, I have unboxed my 14 inch M3 Pro MacBook. I got it in the color space black. So far, I love it. It's light, it's fast, it's very efficient compared to my very, very, very old work laptop. That laptop. I got it since I joined back in 2020. It's not served me well, but I think it's time for it to retire. The fan kick off the moment I run anything. The moment I turn on the laptop, the fan kick off immediately. So pretty much it's very slow and laggy. It's been overdue that I get a new laptop. One thing I noticed though, if you are planning to buy the new MacBook Pro, the space black, it look nice. But the moment you touch the laptop or use it, you're gonna see fingerprints everywhere, literally everywhere. So it doesn't look very nice and clean compared to the space gray. And I thought that it would be a good idea to set up the new laptop together with you guys. When I first started out doing my CS degree, I was obsessed with customizing everything, my terminal, my code editor, you name it. Fast forward 8 years, I have found what worked best for me, a minimalistic and simple setup. Today, I'll show you my current setup and how I customize my terminal, code editor, and more. Alright, I hope you guys can see when I got the fresh laptop without anything on it, I was like, whoa, there's so many things I need to download and set up. So normally, the MacBook come with a default terminal and it looked like this. It's very simple. I already changed the theme. Also, for example, so when you already type in something and you hit the key up, it doesn't do this. It doesn't go through your list of history 
street of command and print it out like this one actually the default terminal does not do that which i was surprised because i thought that's just the default behavior of a terminal turn out it's not which i think it should be but it's not so instead what i have been using for a long time is i term it just worked for me and i like the look of it of course you can change this one to look to however you like as well but i think item 2 you have a lot more customization that you can do which i have already downloaded and got it on my laptop and for me personally i like my terminal to look nice and neat and follow a color theme that i enjoy looking at because i spend so much time looking at it so that's why it's worth it for me to spend a little bit of time to make it look nice what i'm using to customize my terminal is all my zsh you might have heard of it it's very very nice and simple so as you can see it make your terminal look a lot nicer they also have a lot of built-in theme that you can use as they listed here i used to use this one but different color theme but then i actually don't like it anymore because it take up so much space it listed out the whole path so sometimes it'd be too long and it take up the whole screen side so i stopped using it and i switched to the default theme robbie russell i like that one it's very simple and nice the only thing i change is the color as you can see here the color on the two terminal are different because i change it and how you can do that is very simple as well you can go to I I turn to setting profile and then color now you can select your own color manually or you can put in the color preset the color scheme that i like to use is called dracula dracula i turn to pink this is the one i like you just have to either download it and or clone it and use it in your setting you can do import and use the item color that you have downloaded here it's very easy to customize your own terminal and then another thing that i like to do is to make my terminal a little bit transparent that's very controversial not a lot of people like to do that but personally i like to do that and for the dracula theme they also have the color theme for vs code so i also download that and use it as well you can just do Control shift p type in theme click on color theme and you'll be able to select any theme you want personally i choose dracula as well so both my terminal and my vs code is matching other than that i also like to use the sticky app on my macbook i like to use it for my to-do list i used to use like some fancy app more complicated app but what worked best for me is just a piece of paper or a sticky app on the macbook like this work fine for the purpose of it i just write down what i need to get done when i'm done with a task i can just cross it off by unbold it so at least i can see a list of stuff that i done i think it's very useful to still keep what you have done in the note at the end of the week or at the end of the month i will look through my note see what stand out so i can write it down to keep track of all the things i have achieved and completed it's come in very handy when perf review come around you can just look at this list instead of trying to remember what you have done throughout the past six months or a year so just some simple tips for you guys which may sound very obvious but a lot of the time we forget to do it if you're already writing down a to-do list to getting done why not just keep that note and reuse it instead of having to write a separate note right that's just what worked for me and i'm just sharing my own personal experience hopefully it's helpful hey guys just wanted to give you guys a quick update it's currently noon 12 10 to be exact so right now i'm still trying to fix the jenkin build i pull in some dependency that other engineer has worked on but it's giving me some failure due to that dependency project so i'm talking to the other engineer at the moment trying to figure out what went wrong and how we can fix it the goal is trying to get all the project merged into dev branch today so it's been kind of hectic anyway i will have another meeting in one hour i have a 1 p.m meeting so i'll see you guys then
Okay, so I just finished my meeting and been working for a bit. It's currently 2 p.m. and I have merged all four projects. There's a couple more that still have some dependency that my teammate need to wrap up and merge it to dev first before I can update the version and merge it to dev as well. It's coming together. A few moments later I don't really have time to cook and eat a full meal right now So I'm just gonna snack on this Japanese rice cracker mix I'm curious, are you the type that pick out the favorite piece and eat it first? Or do you save all the best for last? Let me know, let me know down in the comment I'm the type that will pick out my least favorite and eat it first And then I can enjoy all the best pieces at the end bill has passed you guys you see success i'm just so happy we're gonna swash and merge it second coffee of the day to get me through this busy hectic day see you guys at the desk cheers Ooh. I found some snack. We got some chopped up bell pepper. One for you. I love eating bell pepper and tomato and cucumber. It's just delicious to me, very refreshing. It is so hot, I'm actually dying in this sweatshirt. It is currently 78 outside. Everybody's in the pool because it's so hot. I'm gonna go change really quick and we're gonna hit the gym because I'm done with work for today. All right, let's go to the gym. As software engineer or any office working job, we are pretty much stuck inside the whole day. So it's really nice to just step outside for a little bit. Five minutes is fine. Just taking a short walk somewhere, taking in the sun, breathing in the fresh air. I did my blood test recently and I'm actually vitamin D deficient. So I don't think I'm outside enough. That's why I'm making effort to getting in sunlight more often now. And it's been going really well because of daylight changing. So we got a lot of sunlight even late at night. So after work, I can still go on a long walk. I'm just enjoying the sun and the weather outside like this. Hi, I just got back from the gym. That was a really good workout, even though I actually didn't film too much because the gym was pretty busy today. But yeah, I really love working out. I really enjoy just hitting the gym, pushing my limit, and I feel very energetic after that. Today has been super, super duper long and stressful, but after the workout and getting some fresh air, I feel a lot better now. I'm ready to tackle on the second half of the day. As a reminder, please go out and move your body. It doesn't have to be the gym, doesn't have to be weightlifting. It can be anything, running, rope jumping, swimming, tennis, badminton, anything like that. Just get your body moving. I promise you, you will feel a lot better. I didn't feel much for the rest of the evening. I just have dinner and made a quick trip to H Mart to stock up on some snacks and instant noodles. By the time I got home, it was already pretty late, so I decided to call it a night. This is a pretty typical workday for me. I hope you found this peek into my day somewhat interesting. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again in the next video.